everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your show making made easy tutor Oduroli Mojibola. Today we are going to be creating this beautiful summer sander. As you can see I know one of the major challenge with this kind of design is the ankle pattern and today I'm going to be showing you how I use this pin this elastic as well as my shoulders and then um, my nylon to create the ankle strap every other thing is just a straight strap but that which is at the ankle is not a straight strap now today if you are just joining us this is gbfm 40 and all we do is make sure making easy through our step-by-step -step shoe making videos and tutorial we upload on on saturdays and on tuesdays so join us every tuesdays and on saturdays to enjoy premium designs now i need you to sit back and i'm gonna be right back so for this particular beautiful ankle design what we are going to first of all do is you either use your paper tape all around this side to create that particular side of the design or you decide to actually use your paper grid method. I think I've taught us the paper grid method. I've also used this particular method I'm going to be showing us today. But I remember that I think I just used it once. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this particular line, nylon all around. Make sure you are using a very soft nylon. We are, you are going to be using your contact cement adhesive to actually position it there now you've got to be very careful with this we don't really need much just put a little just to hold it down at that point for us to actually create our design so just watch as i go around all of this So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this particular pin or you can decide to use like a 0.5 inch nail like this. Just insert them all around that particular ankle part. So let's quickly do that as well. So, after you have done all of this, make sure they are about 2.5 cm away from all of the round edges. About 2.5 cm to 2 cm away from the round, from all of the edges all around. So, what you do next is get a, an elastic band like this and let it go all around it. If you look at the shape as it is now, it's probably looking like the shape of what you want. I'm sure you can see it's looking at like it. So what we need to do now is go ahead and pick up your pen or a marker or whatever you have and use it to trace it right on that nylon. Follow that elastic gently. Follow it gently. Follow it gently. Like this one, I'm trying to use my hand to adjust this side a bit. So follow it.
So I need you to know that is this is not just applicable to using this particular kind of very light nylon. You can also use it with paper tape. It will still give you a very perfect result. I will actually advise that you make use of a paper tape so that you don't have a lot of issues trying to actually remove the nylon all around this so this is just to show you how you can actually do you can actually create this design so what you're going to do next is you have two options either you extend it upwards so you are, let me remove all of the nails and show us what i mean So I'm going to be using my measuring tape to extend all of them. It depends on the width you want now. If you want your width to be about um, 2 2 cm, you extend all around by 2 2 cm. If you want it to be 1 1 cm, you use it by 1 1 cm. So now if you look at my measuring tape, it's starting from 1 so if i'm going to extend by if i'm extending downward you can see what two centimeter looks like see this is two centimeter if i'm extending that the reason is because it's starting from one so from here to here is one from here to here is two so don't be confused in case your own start from zero it definitely means that you're going to have a zero to one one to two and two to three so please don't be confused with my measuring tape now what i'm going to be using i'm going to be using about 1.5 like i said you can decide to extend all around downwards so let's say i'm using 1.5 for this particular design this is 1.5 i'm going to pick up my measuring tape and continue like that 1.5 1.5 this is just to guide us now if you want to make if you want to make your yours upwards go this way go this way make sure you keep following it follow the, the drawing like that so until you go all around it So with this, you already have what you need. So now this one, as far as it's concerned, then I have to work systematically to remove it. So I'm going to be making use of my utility knife. I'll try as much as possible to do that because I need to first of all remove all the big, all the plenty excess nylon I have all around. And you can see that this part is also squeezed. So I need to be very careful with all of that so please make sure you use a paper tape if you are not sure of how to go about this particular style which means i mean when you are using a nylon so just walk around it that way so one way or the other see that it's a bit difficult to remove so but majorly what I really want to show us today is how you can actually cut this on your shoulders without having a prior knowledge of how to, how to actually fix it. So if you're watching this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell. Please like this video. Please do like this video. You give other people the chance of also enjoying the same video. So. So I would suggest you use a paper tip, like I said, so that it will be easy for you to remove. Please remove your hand now. So now we have what we have here. So we can also remove this. You 
you see that if it's paper tape it will not give you any form of problem it will just open up can you see so try and use a paper tape trying to create this video i find out that i don't have enough paper tape to do this to show us today so and that is what i had in mind to show us how to create so as i was thinking about it the holy spirit just reminded me that i can actually do this just to show us how to create it so you are going to follow the same process if you are using a paper tape please just for all remove all of course you may not have to tape all this side With this, this is what it will finally look like if you extend upward or downward. So whichever one you want to use is your choice. By the time I divide it at the middle now, I will be having two separate um that uh, two separate ankle you know pattern for this particular design we are actually working on. So I can decide to use either of them. Now I'm sure you'll be wondering. So how do I go about where the buckle will be? At this point, at this particular point here, you can divide it. You are going to be dividing it here. You are going to be dividing it here. By the time you divide it here, this one coming from here, this one that is coming from the back will be carrying the buckle. Why this one that is coming from here is the, is the strap the buckle will be entering into. It definitely means that there will be an extension on this side. I mean, by the time I divide it here and try to remove them all around and place it on a paper, then i will be able to extend these particular ones don't forget you can either extend upward or downward i did it two of them just to show us how what it will look like if you do that so by the time you cut all of these out and, and don't forget we are going to be opening here like i said so i'm going to be opening it right here so it means i'm opening this up all around i'm opening this up all around and I'll find a way of actually placing it on a paper tip. Although, like I said, please, on a, on a plain sheet, please, I will suggest you use a paper tip. I will suggest you use a paper tip. I will suggest you use a paper tip. Because if it's something you can hold with your hand without using, you know, um, a full stick, like I said, I did not have enough paper tip to go around this particular one. So, I decided to actually use... You understand i decided made the masking tape will not be enough to go around it so i decided to use this to show us what i want to teach us today so like i said we are going to be dividing this then you extend this and then extend this so i'm going to be showing us how we are going to be doing the extension as we go on in the next tutorial so if you're watching this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to also press the notification bell what i do is make shoe making easy for you if you don't have a paper tip for example you can use the paper grid method just attach your paper and try to use you know a little paper tip the paper tip i have is it's so small i cannot use it for that but i still want to show us how you can do this and i'm sure by now you know you can actually use your nail as well as your rubber band to actually create this particular design so thank you once again for joining me today and i still remain your shoe making made easy to tell oh do really i'm gonna see you next time bye